I didn't know any black country artists. I was just like, I'm going to go to Nashville and I will make history myself. I will make sure that there's representation. She's been named one of our Amazon Music's 2022 artists to watch, and she is in studio with us. We welcome Raina Roberts. It's so good to see you. Hi, Hi Raina. Hi. Hello. Hello. Well, we're just so excited because we get to see you in little chunks, but now we get mm-hmm. to spend some quality time together. Yeah. So you kind of grew up all over the place, right? Mm-hmm. Army, Army brat? Army. So my mom and dad were in the Army for 10 years. Um, so I was born in Alaska, super random, I know. And then um, after Alaska, we lived in Alabama. That's where my mom's family's from. And then we moved to California. And then I moved to Nashville like two years ago, right before the pandemic happened. Oh. So I've been a little... What was moving to Nashville like? I mean, everybody that that moves here kind of has this, like, I moved to Nashville and Mm -hmm. this happened. You moved to Nashville and the world shut down. What was was that like for you? It was like, well, I will say I had been coming to Nashville already. So even though... I, you know, my, I, it wasn't my home yet. I was flying like every month to Nashville. So it was pretty familiar already. Um, but right before I moved, um, Carrie Underwood had, Mickey and Carrie Underwood retweeted about me. So that had started making things move a little bit faster. You know yeah. what I mean? So when I got to Nashville, even though I couldn't really go anywhere, we were still having like Zoom meetings and interviews just, you know, over Zoom. Okay, so we missed a big chunk. Let's back up just a little bit because I want to know, when did you start finding music? Like, when did music Mm -hmm. become the thing for you? It was always the thing for me. So Mm -hmm. I don't want to make it like a super long story, but I was born prematurely. So I was two months early and I weighed two pounds. So I was like the size of my dad's hand, basically. And um, I was supposed to have like developmental delays. And my parents played various genres of music to help with my speech and so I was singing and humming before I even started to speak so it's literally been (laughs) it saved my life I don't want to sound dramatic but music music saved my life wow yeah that's that's unbelievable I've I've always been singing so you moved to Nashville even though it was a pandemic did you have Mm -hmm. set goals of like when I get there this is what I want to accomplish um during that time I I don't remember specifically. I just knew my team was like, you need to be here in Nashville. And literally a week later, uh, everything shut down. But um, my whole goal was to make sure I would write songs that I was in love with. Like that was my, that's where I was mentally. Mm -hmm. I have a whole notebook of like um, producers and writers that I've been wanting to work with for years. And so when I got here, my team was like, who do you want to work with? I was like, here you go. (laughs) Wow. That is brilliant. (laughs) Yeah, I was prepared. I was like, I'm ready to go. You know, that's the thing. Like, everybody can have a lucky break, but if you Mm -hmm. aren't prepared and you didn't have the chops to back it up, then it's not going to happen for you. So that kind of brings me to Stomping Grounds. Tell us about this song because Mm -hmm. you had a song on Monday Night Football before (laughs) you had a song on the radio. That is amazing. Um, Before I even got to Nashville— and before uh, Mickey and um, Carrie had retweeted the video, when I was just like, what am I going to do? Um, I'm trying to figure out a path. My mom was like, we need to call um, ESPN and see how we can get like a song on ESPN. And this is like a month before um, before I started getting attention from the video. And so it was kind of wild because fast forward like probably two and a half months later, ESPN contacted us and they were like, we want to use your song for ES for, you know, Monday Night Football. And I'm like, me and my mom were just trying to figure out how to do this. So that was fortuitous. Okay, so we need everybody who is listening, watching to pull out their Amazon Music app right now. Yes. Because Raina has an Amazon original. You've got to tell us about this song. I'll, I'll tell you all the things about the song. Let's do Wait. it. Another round. Um, so I wrote it, Laura Veltz and Jimmy Robbins. I, I had this idea in my head, and I kept thinking, like, boy, I can't afford another round. Um, and that's the melody of the chorus. And when I got there, I was like, I have this idea of, you know, this girl. Um, th- she's in love with this guy, but at, at the end of the day, she can't afford to keep doing the same thing over and over and over oh. again. So I can't afford another yes, round girl. of this. Oh. Yes, girl. That's good. Thank, thank you. You like it. <laughs> 
We're liking it. Feeling it. I'm ready for this song. I am so ready for this. Congrats on being one of Amazon's artists to watch of 2022. Thank you. Yes. Amazon music is amazing. I'm not just saying that because I'm here right now. Like, I'm so grateful for everybody on the Amazon music team. Like, I don't have the words. Like, I, y'all put up, like, a billboard of me, which has never happened. Put it in Times Square, and I'm just very honored and blessed and thankful. There's so much happening, and we're so happy that you're a part of our family. And we want to talk to you about the new Amazon music documentary, mm-hmm. For Love and Country. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is something that we've been keeping under wraps for a while, and now yeah. it's going to be out for everybody to watch and soak in. What did it mean to you to be a part of this project? When when I was asked to be a part of it, I was like, yes, please. Like, I want to be a part of um, inspiring the next generation of, of artists, specifically country artists. I feel like um, anybody who has questions about um, me being in the genre, Mickey, Jimmy, um, because I feel like in every interview, it's like, how do you feel being like a black artist in country music? Like literally every interview, which is fine. It's it's important for us um, to talk about this. It's something that needs to there needs to be a conversation. Um, So I feel like those who have so many questions about what it's like to be in this space, in this genre, you will also get answers by watching this film. You know, traditionally, yeah, you've got Mickey and mm-hmm. you've got Jimmy and, and you have, you know, Brittany Spencer now and a few yeah. others. But truly, your face hasn't been represented in the genre right. in the way that it should have been. Right. So has that been difficult for you? And were you nervous coming into that? Honestly, um, when I decided to come to Nashville um, for, for songwriting and I didn't know any black country artists um, other than Darius Rucker. Actually, I didn't know anybody else. And so for me, I was a little nervous because typically if you ask somebody about country music in general, I feel like a lot of people will say like, oh, I don't like country music or like, oh, that's like, uh, I've never been to the South or, you know, people will say stuff like that. And so I'm like, if they already feel like that, how are they going to respond to me, especially because I'm not the the standard? Um, so I was a little nervous, um, but I talked to my family and I talked to my friends and I, you know, I wanted to get guidance from them. Um, and at the end of all these conversations, I was just like, I'm going to go to Nashville and I will make history myself. It doesn't matter if there hasn't been, if there's, you know, no representation right now, I will make sure that there's representation. So that was my that was that was the way that I was thinking before I went to Nashville. Um, but you have mentioned that Mickey has been supportive of you tweeting out the video. <laughs> have you been able to talk to her and other, you know, other artists to get advice about like things you might encounter or how to handle certain situations? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Uh-huh. I'll FaceTime Mickey. I'm like, Mickey, I need help. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I should say Mm -hmm. or how I should address certain things or even coming even down to like what I'll wear in a photo shoot because I don't want people to 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 judge me, even though like it. That's going to happen regardless. Mm-hmm. I'm like, give me some advice. Or, or she'll call me. She'll be like, girl, how you doing? I'm like, I'm so good. And she'll be like, do you need anything? Let me know. And I'm here for you. I feel like we're a family. We're always, um, it's usually me, Mickey, Brittany, Breland, Jimmy, Blanco. Like we're all usually in the, in the same space. And I love that we have that. Because I feel like people don't expect that. Like they don't expect us to, to, to be, um, to feel the way we feel about each other. Yeah. This is the thing, though, the fact that you're all in it together and that you're helping each other. And Mm -hmm. then, you know, there are so many people that are like, this is what we need. Mm -hmm. How do we help? You know, that's I think that that's the next question. Like we're making strides and things are moving Mm -hmm. forward. So as an artist, Mm -hmm. like what is what is it that you look for that you think here's what would help and push everything forward even faster? What I have seen change in the small time that I've been here are projects like this, and I'm not just saying it because I'm here right now, but um, people seem to be genuinely trying to make a change and not only be more inclusive, but educate people on 
um, the history of black music and um, black people in country music, representing the genre means like everybody expects you to be the representation of the whole black, yep. uh, right. like of right. all black people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah. know how else to say that other than that's always the 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 feeling. Yeah, even coming down to like, what am I going to wear in a photo, um, or what lyrics can I say in a song? Because I'm supposed to represent so many things other than just myself. Mm-hmm. But I say it's been real. But at the same time, I'm like, apply more pressure. You it know, makes what? diamonds. <laughs> here's here's the that's thing. That's right. That's right. It makes diamonds. You are so fierce, and Thank I. You adore everything about you and mm-hmm. watching what you're doing mm-hmm. now like you are not just opening the door honey you're kicking it down and there are so many little girls that are going to be looking and go oh, I want to do exactly yeah. what she's doing so it's it's so true and it's just awesome that we get to watch it yeah oh, we are it. so rooting for you girl <laughs> yeah it's amazing I feel the love we are such fans thank yes. you we are so glad you're here we are so looking forward to watching you make even more history we have a front row seat. Yes, oh, you're yes. welcome here that. anytime. Oh, don't tell me Come that. Hang. <laughs> Bring the family. Day. <laughs> we'll do a family hang here. <gasps> oh, they would love that. Let's do it. My dad, Cartier, my mom, they would Everybody. be so happy. That would make them so happy. <gasps> Raina Roberts, you're awesome. <gasps> you're awesome. You're more awesome. <laughs> we love you. We love you, girl. Thank you for being here. Thank y'all. Oh, my goodness. Bye. <laughs>